this is the latest uh, webinar with the most recent updates for the Inmetrics K16 body temperature kiosk. Uh, this is me. I'm Tony Lee. I'm the subject matter expert on this product line. Uh, this is my contact information. Please go ahead and write it down and call me if you uh, or email me if you have any additional questions that we're not able to answer at this point. This is a little bit of our agenda. Um, first of all, what are the challenges of reopening and how can we help? The second part is a little bit about the Inmetrics temperature reading kiosk and then we're going to have a brief Q&A at the end. <clears throat> How do you re reopen and help reduce liability? You know, as a business owner, you've got to do something to both, not just do the right thing for your customers, but you also need to be able to instill confidence in your employees as well. There's a lot of people that are really afraid of the virus, and so we need to find a way of... Uh, improving things uh, from that standpoint to truly reopen and be successful economically. Um, you know, part of the re reopening, you've got to consider the quality of the equipment. It is a safety product. And so really, I mean, you got to ask yourself, would you buy cheap hard hats? The answer is you wouldn't. Um, and then the third issue that you've got to consider is how do you get people back to normal traffic flows. Everyone has to move people in their business in an efficient manner, no matter what it is. Whether you have a retail establishment or a movie theater or an office building, you need to be able to effectively get people from A to B, or let's say a factory. You need to be able to get people from A to B without having delays because like the old saying, Time is money. So how can the K-16 help? Well, we're going to help by doing body temperature management and mask detection to make sure that any kind of uh, state, local uh, mandates, or as well as corporate-wide mandates as far as wearing masks are observed and enforced. Um, we're able to set temperature thresholds and accurately measure them to make sure that, you know, you're able to get everyone's temperature in a quick, easy way that minimalizes interruptions. We're trying to get back to normal here. Part of this involves the AI face mask detection, which is something that we are officially launching today. It's new. Everyone asked for it, and we delivered. It is truly a plug-and-play product. It works right out of the box. I've got multiple customers that that's the part that every time after they buy a device, they plug it in to start testing it. They're shocked because they open the box, they plug it into the wall, it boots up itself, the application's up and running in approximately 15 seconds. After that, it works, and it just keeps working. And then we also, uh, we have a new thing here uh, called walk-by mode um, where you're able to actually just pass by in rapid succession, and I'll cover that in a video in a little bit here. But this is able to de detect temperatures very accurately uh, in less than one second so that you're able to move people at a regular pace that they can just walk by it and you're good to go. Our customers keep telling us through feedback how superior the K-16 is to the other temperature man management options that are out there on the market. Um, why are we, where are we superior? Uh, 50, we're able to scan up to 50 plus people per minute. We've got very high accuracy rates. Um, what we're finding is anywhere from, in real world fielding, anywhere from 0.5 to 0.3 plus or minus degrees Fahrenheit. So it's radically accurate. I've been told by certain customers it's the most accurate product that they've ever tested. And obviously it is unattended, which means if you look at it, we're faster than the other kiosks, we're more accurate than the other kiosks, 
and we're unattended like the handheld readers. The handheld people, the handheld readers are very expensive, even though they seem cheap, because you have to have a person sitting there managing it, wearing personal protective equipment, logging the data. So it's slow and it's just not the right fix. And this is actually a quote down here. The InHand K16 is the only product that we found on the market that really works well all of the time. Why does it work well? This is really the core of why we are superior. We've got an advanced infrared camera. It's roughly four times the resolution of all of the competing products. It also has a much faster acquisition of imagery. We're sampling 50 frames per second video as opposed to the other products that are sampling one frame per second photo photographs. Why is that superior? Moving people quickly. You've got to move people quickly. I don't care what your business is. You need to have as little interruption to the day-to-day -day activities pre-COVID-19 as what you can possibly have. The other reason is not just the resolution and the sampling rate. It's automatically calibrating. It's a self-calibrating infrared camera, meaning you've got onboard AI controllers that are eliminating the need to have someone there nearby uh, recalibrating the device every few hours. That, again, returns us back to people involvement and labor is expensive, folks. Some of the other reasons why it's better. We have best in breed hardware. This is the NPAD 101. This is our industrially capable Android touchscreen tablet. We have sold tens of thousands of these into the field for everything, including uh, uh, vending solutions. And with that, what we bring is we bring the most powerful processor in the in the industrial tablet market with the A5 A53 octa-core 1.8 gigahertz processor. We've got an eight an HD 10.1 inch screen, so it's a big screen. It's easy to see. It's easy to interact with. It's a high resolution tablet, so it's very luxurious to look at. It's not difficult to figure out what's going on on it. It also has an integrated built-in 3D camera, built-in Wi-Fi, and it is an industrial fanless design, so it gives it one of the widest operating temperature ranges in the market for any tablet. We've also expanded a lot of the features here with giving it a host of different interfaces. We've got USB so that you can download records, you can update software on the fly as needed. You've got digital relay outputs. You can connect that to a beacon or it could be to a turnstile on an access control system. What this means is you can configure the logic on the application to, for example, when you have an authorized an over temperature, it won't let someone through the turnstile. Or if you have an acceptable temperature, rating it will let them through or it could set off a buzzer or it could you know unlock a door for example and then obviously we've got Wi-Fi connectivity there so that you can connect to the cellular router and have that capability of uh, also doing screen casting for someone who's sitting for example at a receptionist desk or a, a guard hut or something along those lines depending on what kind of facility you're operating in and then we also have an external Bluetooth speaker so that you can have louder sound quality in case you need to hear something there. All of these features just give it the ability to expand and become that much more integrated into your system. When you need cellular connectivity, you connect over Wi-Fi to our high-speed Cat6 LTE router. This is one of our flagship products. We sell tens and tens of thousands of these devices, if not hundreds of thousands of these cellular routers annually. They're fully supported by all of the carriers and actually endorsed by most of the carriers as their cellular router of choice. 
got three different modes that the device can that the K16 can work in. The first one's the walk by mode. This is uh, what I was referring to earlier for fast measurement of people in a group. And as you can see, it's reading every single person there, and they're just walking through as if they're walking to work in the morning, to their office, to their uh, desk, wherever that may be. We also have what we call the one-to-one -one mode, where that's going to give you a little bit more accurate reading, but it's going to give you the ability to line up and really truly get a connection on each person. Please proceed. And then we have our mask rule enforcement. This is going to help give you effective protection and provide, help provide a safer environment to make sure everyone's compliant. Normal temperature. Please proceed. Please put on a mask. Thank you. Please proceed. Now, let's think about this for a minute. How often can that actually make life a lot easier for people as opposed to having to have an employee up front wearing masks, possibly a, a face shield, um, interacting with customers, interacting with other employees? It just lets people get back to doing their normal jobs and their normal job descriptions. It's making things simple. Here's a sample of what our instantaneous reading looks like as well. This is a, a real-time infrared image showing how accurate the reading is. And you can see we... Well, please proceed. As you can see, we always show the thermal imagery. We're proud at the level of resolution we're able to get, which is unlike anything any other company has on the market. We also are doing the basics of facial recognition so that we can exclude uh, foreign bodies that, or foreign objects that might interfere with temperature readings. He tried to trick it with a cup of hot coffee. It knew it was a cup of hot coffee. It wasn't fooled. And then you can actually set your customizable customizable temperature thresholds. We recommend 97.0 to 99.8F as an acceptable range. That's just good human biology and good measurement. Please proceed. Please wait for assistance. As you can see, it just says, please wait for assistance. There may be an issue. There may be a misread. The person may be overheated because of something going on, you know, like they ran from their car. Um, basically, what it's saying is, let's get a person involved to just put a second pair of eyes on this to do the responsible thing. And we say, please wait for assistance because we're trying to not make everyone panic because, you know, if you say over temperature, virus warning, or anything like that, which we have seen on some of the other products, you don't want to make everyone panic. Here's a little more on instantaneously reading groups of people. It's not just the walk-by mode of reading a bunch of people in one sort there. You can actually walk two, three, four people up in front of it. It'll be tough to do four, but it's plausible. It's going to look at each person, and it's going to get an actual reading on each one of them individually. And then it'll actually flag it and tell you which person has got the fever. Uh, and it will also say, please wait for assistance here. This is a little bit more on our Pro, Pro Edition software, which includes the mask detection mode. Um, it's going to remind the guests to actually put on a mask before they're entering, as you saw in the video there. Uh, this rule enforcement mode can also be included with uh, access control systems, as I'd mentioned earlier. So you're going to have the ability now in the logic to control the I.O. so that if the person has an acceptable temperature range, they could still not be let through with the turnstile unless they're wearing a mask if you have that configured into it. As I said earlier, 
the K16 is absolutely plug and play. It comes out of the box with no IT integration required whatsoever. Literally, you turn it on, it is ready to start working. We've got a standard desktop kiosk stand here, as you can see in the shorter version. Um, it's got an easily adjustable screen. It can go to maximum 90 degrees for a variety of different on-site scenarios. We also have a floor stand model, which you can see to the right of it. And then we do have a wall mount option as well. Now, I will reiterate, we do recommend that this is for indoor use only. Uh, there's several reasons about that, but one of the foremost is this is a high-end camera that's built into it, and we're concerned about damage being done to the camera by any kind of possible uh, dust, debris, water, so on and so forth. Um, you want to just, it, it's, a, it's a good tool, it's a very accurate tool, and it's not an inexpensive tool, so we do ask that you care for it. Um, it's very easy to set up. It's very simple and intuitive settings. We've got a host of customizable greetings here. You can say please proceed or thank you from a positive response, or you can actually go in under the custom setting where you can upload through the USB connector your own uh, message recorded as an mp3 so if you need to have it be customized to your business or perhaps have it in a foreign language we've got you covered both on the affirmation and the decline responses as well um, you can actually go in also and turn off the audio if you'd like and then we do have email notifications that can be set up as well so from there you can actually configure uh, who's the person responsible for receiving email notifications of over temperature messages or it could be a group email list as well it's you know a distribution list so it's really up to you and how you decide you want to have this configured a little bit more on the advanced settings uh, we do have certain default settings that enable it to work right out of the out of the box However, you can go in here and adjust it to what you want specifically to make it really fit with your business or with your office. Um, you know, obviously there's the one-to-one -one or the walk-by mode. You can turn on mask. You can either do a notification of please put on a mask or enforcement mode where it would not trigger the I.O. And then obviously changing temperature between Fahrenheit and centigrade. Uh, temperature choice between body or skin we recommend the body temperature as the option that you really should use you have fewer false positives on over temperature that way um, then you also have a temperature conversion offset you can have it do the automatic offset through the uh, AI learning software or you can actually configure a manual offset based on going up scanning yourself and then doing an offset using a, a separate thermometer to really dial it in there as well. Most people just use the straight automatic offset though. You can set your minimum body temperature, your maximum body temperature, low body temperature threshold, um, and actually over temperature threshold as well. We've done a lot to make the management and the record keeping of the K16 easy. Um, you can actually go through and browse any of the records um, based on days. You can do all the days or one of the days of the week or a group of days. You can look at all of the, all of the images uh, or just the okay, you know, accepted past images or the over temperature readings as well or the low temperature readings. So you've got ability to filter and look at it kind of in a reporting manner there. Again, we, you can set it to send the photo, the photo records by email, uh, either manually or automatically, however you choose. You're not required to use the email uh, send, picture, send feature of photos at all, though. Um, again, as I mentioned earlier, you've got the automatic email notification uh, for over temperature if you've configured it to set that up. We've got a new addition. Also, 
which is now the system supports FTP, so that you've got an ongoing recurring set of data in the imagery that's being kept separately at an FTP server of your choice. This is not a required feature. This is just something where we've been approached by several customers who want to keep records of this over the long term for uh, liability concerns. Another thing that's been asked for and we've delivered on is allowing employees to, be, to uh, monitor the temperature readings from a distance. This might be like the example I used earlier of the security guard facility, or it could be at a, uh, at a reception desk where you don't necessarily want your employees out there exposed to everyone and everything until we know that the person is healthy. So with this, you can literally stream over Wi-Fi. It's, it's Google casting is what it is that broadcasts over a Wi-Fi connection to a separate computer of your choice. There's a little bit of software you've got to load uh, from a third party. Uh, they have both free and paid for versions, and we can go through those details and help you get that set up if that's something of interest. Um, also, you've got, you know, here's a copy of one of the over temperature email notifications so that you can see. Um, it's literally just the picture to the email address involved, and then you've got the device ID down here, alarm data, you've got the actual t body temperature read and then you've got which version the software was configured for. In this case, it was walk by. And then there's a time and date associated with it as well. So our whole process is to give you as much control as you want. Part of giving you as much control as you want is that integration with third party systems. That's why we have the digital relay output. So you can connect it to an alarm. You can connect it to a turnstile, an automatic, you know, electronic locks on doors in smart buildings, or any other kind of on-site systems that we may not have considered. Um, it is Android-based, which means it is fully open, and we can actually support integration of third-party systems. Now, the one thing we do recommend, we do ask, is that you know. For those more integrated systems, there likely would be some kind of NRE or MOQ that would apply to that. But the point is, we've got the tools and we can do it, and we can help you make this truly a part of your business for the long term. Here's a little bit about the K16 versus the competition. I know you guys have seen some of these uh, similar kiosks out there in the marketplace. Again, we're nearly four times the resolution of the closest competitors. Um, we are sampling at that 50 hertz, which is nearly 4K resolution versus once a second. Automatic calibration means very low maintenance. Obviously, occasionally someone may need to go over and blow it off with some canned air for dusting it or something like that over the long term, but it's not going to require constant babysitting by someone from your IT department. This is easy, it's straightforward, low, low effort. It does give you that instantaneous reason, reading because you need that faster flow of traffic of people, and it is a user-friendly software. The one thing we keep noticing, and we can't help but not mention, we wonder why anyone else in the competition doesn't show the actual infrared image on the user interface. We're pretty sure because of the low resolution, they're not able to read other parts of the body, such as the eyeballs, uh, the forehead, the mouth, the so on and so forth. And so they're not able to get as accurate of a reading, and they just don't want to show the flaws in their products. The second classic competition that we would see out of the K16 is the handheld scanner. Everyone thinks, oh, well, the handheld scanner is cheap. It's simple. Well, it is cheap in the context of the cost of the handheld scanner itself. It's maybe a $75 to $100 handheld scanner. The issue is the manpower. Let's be honest. Labor is expensive, and having someone sitting there managing a thermal gun is not really a best way of utilizing 
uh, their hourly rate or their salaried rate that they're being paid to do their job. You had hired this person to do a different job. That makes it more expensive. You're not just costing money by having that person sitting there doing this. It's costing you money because your person isn't doing the job that you hired them to do in the first place. It's also very slow. You need something where people don't have to stop, do a reading, maybe take another reading, possibly take a third reading, and then you write down and record it in a spiral notebook. That's just not a realistic long-term goal. Um, if you do the math and you've got someone that even, let's say, okay, well, we're paying them slightly over minimum wage to do this kind of a solution. Those people, you're looking at uh, a 40-hour work week with them doing this sampling, $10 an hour, that's $400 a week. Uh, let's figure that out at four weeks per month, and you're at $1,600 every month while the COVID-19 situation continues. That means that this solution is a constant black hole sucking in resources and funds for you. So it's really not the cheap solution overall. The K-16, on the other hand, normalizes people flow back to the way people used to just walk through everything before the pandemic. It makes it a lot less intrusive because not everyone's being poked, prodded, stopped. They're able to go where they need to go, when they need to go. And we keep the records for you instead of someone hopefully writing down the right information in a spiral notebook. The third type of K-16 competition we see are the much more expensive products. Um, they have a black body in the background that's putting out an actual temperature value. That's how they help keep accuracy on these systems. I know a lot of people have seen them, and these are the products that we're seeing that are in the $10,000 plus dollar range, typically. Um, the biggest issue is they still require recalibration on a semi-frequent basis, so you've got human resources, you know, human labor is going to be your more expensive aspect because you're going to have to schedule people from IT to come in there multiple times per day to recalibrate this device. The K16 doesn't require a black body reference temperature because of the AI camera on board. It also is much lower costs for very similar features. We're able to handle multiple people walking by just like this product is. And then obviously you've got the instant feedback where you're sifting through people and making sure that the people who are healthy are getting through without the, the labor portion. And then again, you're not having that ongoing calibration headache, which is expensive and time consuming. So really what it breaks down to is the K16 gives you simplicity in your business. These are some of the applications that we flagged where the K-16 could be of significant benefit in help helping businesses reopen. Office buildings obviously are a big one. Most office buildings are, have been vacated for months now. And they, you know, there are multi-year leases on these buildings. People need to be able to go back to work. That's where they're able to collaborate, work together, and function effectively as a team. We've got to get people back in there. The K-16 is going to help. Movie theaters. Movie theaters are a big one. Movie theaters have been closed for months with no ability for just their people to work from home, unlike other businesses. If you're looking at selling the K-16, I would highly recommend that you reach out to movie theaters because movie theaters are going to be one of the last places that most of your local health departments are going to let open. Um, this is a good reason for the health department to allow them to reopen. Obviously, factories and warehouses are another hot button issue. Why? Large numbers of people that have to get together to work. That's where a lot of the COVID-19 has spread in certain, parts of the, in certain parts of the United States and across the world, are in factories and in warehouses. Um, because of that, a lot of these businesses have set up giant tents outdoors with armies of HR people, with personal protective equipment that they're changing multiple times per day, which is expensive, 
and handheld thermal guns. So they're paying their HR team not to do HR work, but to do the work of the factory nurse, which used to be a one person job. Now it's a team. And, you know, frankly, you know, these uh, outdoor tents that they're setting up, they cost thousands of dollars per month in rental fees to these companies. And then on top of all of it, either the employees aren't getting paid for uh, getting into work on time and they're working fewer hours because of the waiting time, or the companies are paying employees to stand in line instead of paying employees to do work. So all the way around, the K-16 is going to save them radical amounts of money. This is real. This is happening right now. And these are the reasons why several of America's Fortune 500 and Fortune 1000 companies are already selecting the K-16. Obviously, with retail, you're interacting with customers on a face-to-face -face basis all the time. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to just know that your customers that are coming in aren't running a temperature? Wouldn't it be nice to know that you've got a pre-screening method for all of your employees that's touchless, low-cost, and efficient? Obviously, restaurants are, have an interest because most restaurants, they have a mask requirement for when you walk into the building and then you have to, you can only take off your mask when you're sitting down at your seat to eat and to drink and so on and so forth. They want you to put your mask back on when you get up to go to the restroom or to get help or refills on drinks or whatever other things may be going on. So having that ability to make sure that someone's wearing a mask not having that interaction with the customer where they're arguing about should they be wearing a mask or not, knowing are they healthy. These are all things that you're taking that burden off of your employees. People don't argue with machines. People do argue with employees. So it helps diffuse situations as well. Obviously, hotels, hotel uh, stays are down over 45% right now from prior to the COVID-19 outbreak. Why? People are concerned about the, the other people that are staying in the hotel and are they sick. Making sure that the people who are staying there aren't sick makes a lot of sense. Schools, that's a hot button issue these days. Everyone wants their kids to go back to school. They need the face-to-face -face time with the teachers. They need that instruction time. Everyone agrees this. However, there's the fear of the virus situation. So having the kids walk by one of these in the morning, A, making sure that they're wearing their mask, B, making sure that they aren't running a temperature, would help ease a lot of concern and worry. And then obviously government facilities, because people need to get back to work in the government facilities as well. A lot of the government facilities have uh, taxpayer-facing uh, offices where they need to actually interact with taxpayers for a variety of different issues. It could be something as simple as renewing a driver's license or uh, going to uh, file a birth certificate. People need to be able to get back to using the services that they were using before. This is how we reopen it. This is how we make things better become much more efficient. K-16 comes with the backing and expertise of nearly 20 years from in-hand networks. Again, we have the customizable options. We can work with you to make this truly part of your business. We can make this, help you make this very integrated. And then it does come with a standard one-year warranty as well. In-hand networks is the third largest industrial cellular router company in the world by volume. This is according to Berg Insights report in uh, December of 2019. We've had some radical growth and we think that we're going to exceed that and hit number two, the number two spot this year. This is a little bit of a trajectory showing in hand across the 19 years that we've been in business. Uh, we were started as we were founded as an MDM startup. We're one of the pioneers of IoT. Uh, we work with companies such as uh, GE Healthcare, the China State Grid, uh, ABB. Rock, we're a Rockwell and Compass partner. We're a collaborative automation partner for Schneider Electric. Um, we get around. We're a big, credible company. We can do a lot.
that a lot of other companies that are the competition simply cannot because we build everything in house. It's our technology. It's our products. It's not a product from one company and then a product from another company and then someone writing software to marry it all together. And we are publicly traded on the Shanghai star market as well. We just had our IPO in February. We're very proud of that. It helps show our long-term viability and our strength as a company. This is a little bit more of some of the other companies that we've been working with over the years. I'm sure you guys have recognized several of the names on this list. Now what I want to have is a little bit of a Q&A. You know, I've got a quote here from the customer, from one of our customers uh, because of an NDA. I can't say who they are, but they said that they've trusted, they, they, they trust us to do, you know, have our system is the one that works. Um, they've tested products that ranged anywhere from, let's say, $500 to $10,000 each. They found ours is the one that really works. And then also, I'd like, uh, you know, reach out to us and let's talk. We've got some special promotions right now on the K-16, including 0% financing options. So we've got the ability to work with the resellers, with the channel, to help them bring 0% financing options to the table for their customers with K-16s. So just reach out to me for those kind of details. Let me know if you've got any questions there. Um, now what I'd like to do is kind of open up the floor for uh, a bit of Q&A. Let, let me know what, uh, what questions you may have. 